As of February 16, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 51,174 cases of COVID-19 from China. There are now 683 confirmed cases in 23 countries, which include Thailand 34, Japan 53, Republic of Korea 29, Vietnam 16, Singapore 72, Australia 15, Malaysia 22, Cambodia 1, Philippines 3, Nepal 1, Sri Lanka 1, Indian 3, United States of America 15, Canada 7, France 12, Finland 1, Germany 16, Italy 3 cases, Russian Federation 2, United Kingdom 9, Belgium 1, Spain 2, Sweden 1, United Arab Emirates 8, Egypt 1, and the cases on an international conveyance, that is a cruise liner in Japan, 355. A third death of COVID-19 has been reported outside of China. This individual was a tourist from China visiting France. There are no coronavirus cases in St. Lucia or the Caribbean region. The Department of Health and Wellness reports that the four quarantined nationals have all been released from quarantine. They all remain asymptomatic during their period of observation. That is, during the period under which they were monitored, none of the four nationals developed any signs and symptoms of the virus. As such, the Department of Health and Wellness, we continue to strengthen our preparedness plans to manage the threat of the coronavirus. In an effort to identify the gaps in our level of preparedness, <clears throat> a review debriefing of the management of the suspect COVID-19 case, which arrived into St. Lucia on Tuesday the 11th, is scheduled. We continue to ask the public to practice standard recommendations to prevent the spread of any respiratory infection. And these include regular hand washing with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizers to cover the mouth and with disposable tissues when coughing and sneezing and to avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness as coughing and sneezing. We also ask that persons with respiratory illness that's getting worse to visit your medical, uh, to seek medical attention, visit your medical practitioner, and to share your travel history with your healthcare provider if you have symptoms suggesting of respiratory illness, either during or after travel.